do you take her to be your lawful wedded wife? I cannot do this. Hello everyone, my name is Ifwa Lavi and welcome to a film video. So this is so crazy that we are back in this space. You know, when I first started here, so I used to film and I moved to a different space, but we are back here because, you know, quarantine. And it's really exciting and a bit unnerving to be back in this space. So anyway, today's video is actually on Netflix's love is blind so i know i'm late to the party because when it premiered everybody was talking about it it took the world by storm and for me i was a little bit iffy to it because i'm not a really a big fan of reality tv because i think that is so like strenuous to get into and by the time you are finished done with one there's another one there's a reunion and it goes on and on and on and on and on and like for like I, i've never been a fan of reality tv point blank period that's it but the way people are talking about this show I decided that why not give it a try so the show has generated a lot of fake pieces a lot of videos i've seen so many videos about it personally and i've loved all of them some of them have had a bit more depth some of them has just poked like general fun of the video and i think it's been all in good fun i on a whole love is blind is really worth a watch and for me one of the things that i think would make me watch the subsequent uh seasons are that it's based like there are going to be different characters all the time so that would be interesting because you see different personalities are play in each season so that is great now love is blind seeks to answer the everlasting question that has plagued scientists and human beings forever is love really blind and love is blind is hosted by vanessa and nicola shea obviously and this is my thing first of all i don't understand why they were hosts for the show in the first place because i mean vanessa and nicola shea obviously they didn't need to be there the show could have gone on without a host and would have still gotten like the end result in which we got in the in the same place so anyways that's my rant about that so according to the show's log line it says that singles try to find a match and fall in love without ever seeing each other face to face as emotional connection attempts to conquer physical attraction so basically the contestants are put into these ports whereby they interact with each other so they go on dates in these ports and through this date when you make an emotional connection to someone you go on subsequent dates and then finally you get engaged and then you, you are revealed to each other and then you live on to marital bliss that's the premise of the show and i find it and i find it interesting that a show called love is blind has conventionally attractive people like you see if you are saying that love is blind how people that are not so conventionally attractive then then when they are revealed that okay maybe i'm like this fly supermodel and like the person i'm matched to like we have an emotional connection but physically it's a bit you know then we can really test out that oh, okay so it's love blind will love conquer this physical inattractiveness something but to put all attractive people in one experiment and then see is love blind eh, obviously so those are my general quibbles about the show and all that it entails now let's move on to the couples obviously my favorite couple in this whole show was um lauren and cameron everybody's favorite couple lauren was very like i think that she was one of those people that she was really in it to find the love cameron too even though cameron at times he passed off as very some way but they were my favorite couple to watch because they didn't have like as much drama as the other people they were very chill even like even at the last and when i thought lauren was going to say no and nobody should come at me that i'm they are spoilers it's been out for months you've had time to watch it so anyways even at the end when i thought lauren would say no she still surprised when she said yes and i've seen their instagram they seem to be very much in love considering that the show was shot in 2018 so you know i think that it's been a success on their part my second favorite couple was jessica and mark i'm really happy to be like on the beach and like hearing the waves crash and like i definitely like to do the whole tropical thing you know now i don't like jessica i never like i didn't like jessica throughout the whole show i thought she was very vapid i thought she was very all over the place she obviously got drunk a lot and they have like a lot of self-control but the one thing you can't say about jessica and mark is that they were entertaining okay you can say she's annoying but she really entertained us because she brought the drama who else brought the drama but her okay jessica and mark were just on it <laughs> and i know a lot of people have said the show should be changed to mark is blind which is true because there were so many red flags about Jessica. Burnett's definitely an attractive guy. This is someone that I created a bond with that I'll never, will never be matched by any other bond. 
Mark loves me unconditionally, but I don't want to be naive to the fact that some people are not going to be happy if we get married. I don't want us to be super disappointed when the real world smacks us in the face. I think Barnett is fucking sexy and like hot and like. What the fuck is I'm that? Insane. You're insulting me like that. Don't insult me like that. Are you fucking kidding me? Mark is very emotionally available. To me, it's a bit of a red flag because no guy is that emotionally available. I'm I was just like, we're in love, you know, we, like we made such a, an emotional connection. And I'm like, mm, emotional connection can of override these things. But I mean, hey, do you, do your love. And also when Jessica gave her dog the wine, that part just, that was just peak Jessica for me, okay? And just, she had just so many things. When Mark told her, I love you, and she said, loves ya. That night. Love you, babe. Loves ya. What? I think that, at that point, Mark should have just given up and be like, you know what? I got you, bro. This is the end. But he was still like, no, Jessica and I, we, we made such an emotional connection, and I love her. And I'm like, bro, don't be this blind and stupid. At this point, for him, it wasn't a question of is love blind. It was the question of is love blind and stupid. That's the question that Mark should have answered. I think he, for him, he answered yes to that. Those two were the ones that I actually liked watching. Now, let's move on to the couples that I did not like. Number one of the couples I didn't like at all was Carlton and Diamond. You better be happy you're pretty. Just because of Carlton's secret that he decided to reveal after the engagement and he got angry that diamond got angry which i mean honestly i know people have written think pieces about it was carlton being uh, mischievous by hiding his past was diamond biphobic but for me it was very disingenuous that you go into this reality show to find marriage and then you don't reveal this big part of yourself like that didn't make sense and then his reaction oh he was fuck about a ring that. fuck a I ring fuck a ring <laughs> this is why i don't deal with bitches like you oh i'm a bitch now and he gets an angry calling her a bitch saying that her wig has been sliding which yes we know her wig had been sliding but he didn't have to say that you know like that was just very below the belt but so carlton and diamond very messy i'm really glad that it didn't continue and carlton is saying that he wants to come back for a second season no the producer shouldn't let him come back we don't need to see more carlton in this show it's enough what we've seen about him is enough he should move on and my second least favorite couple was um amber and barnett <laughs> oh, <hi. laughs> oh, hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. oh god <laughs> Like, I know they said I do's at the end. I know they are still married. But then there was just something about them that was very, ugh. It was just so over the top. Like, look at me. I'm in love. I'm in love. It was just too over the top for me. And Amber with her whole, I'll fight you. And I'll fight you. And he, she can't go anywhere. And I'll cut you. It was just like, we get it. You guys are engaged. But, like, it was very passive aggressive. And I know that Jessica was being some way towards her. Especially with the whole speaking to her during the party and kissing her and so she felt like she had to set Jessica straight all well and good but there were so many red flags about Amber that I felt like why why should we have continued with this you know because first of all her whole thing of well Barnett defied his family for her which is like and like I got where she was coming from but her whole posture towards it was very like it's me against them ha ha shoes and it was like simmer down okay girl simmer down and also when she was like she doesn't she, wait what she said something either she doesn't work she doesn't work to live or she doesn't live to work one of those things and so she someone described her as a homosexual and i agree very much with that description and this is my thing you can't i don't understand so many of them were too young in my opinion i mean hey nobody just come and like judge me but in my opinion i think that's a lot of them were too young to look to look for love and get married i mean for goodness sake mark was 24 and he wanted to get married hey grow up a little bit and then get married no that's just all like i think so first of all amber should have had proper source of income and then got to marry because trying to say that you have a 20k debt when you didn't even finish the degree in which you went to school for it's like um um Okay, that, if I was Barnett, that would have been my cue. I'd be like, okay, uh, I'll see you on the flip side.
and my other least favorite couple was Damien and Giannina. Five days without sex. Yeah. And you've counted. Day 325. I went to the beach so I uh, could remember how it feels to have my ass smacked. Right? By the waves? Yeah, by the waves. Giannina, D and G. Oh, everything about them was just cringe worthy for me. From the proposal to his. Today, I don't give him just a part of me. I give him all of me. I was like, oh, God, kill me already. Okay, that proposal was just so annoying. And then Janina being like, I don't want you to ask me, but I'm asking you. Like, eh, he asked you. Answer it. So let's move on. But it was so dramatic. Like, their whole engagement to the whole marriage was just drama from beginning to end. And oh, the arguments they used to have wasn't even like necessary arguments. Some of them, it was just like the, my butterflies left. Then end the engagement. So seduce me. You seduce me. You don't say my sex is great. You don't say my sex is great. You, you, you. I was just like, uh. Sometimes watching them, I had to like skip, skip, skip because I'm like, these people are just exhausting. And I'm not going to lie, I actually thought they would get married by the end of the show. But when Damien said no, I was a bit, huh. I thought he would say yes, rather. But then the whole tirade after she said no and they're running out and she's slipping, it was just very dramatic, which is just like a good indication of how their relationship was over dramatic, unnecessary, like unnecessary dramatism. Even if that's not a word, I'm saying it's a word. And also, apparently, they got back together like hours after filming that wedding because they were like, they weren't ready to get married for real, for real. But then they still wanted to be together and work on themselves, which is like, okay, good for you. And so the couple that I didn't like, but I mean, they were cool, was Kelly and Kenny. They're pretty. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You're pretty girl. Mm -hmm. I mean, they were a cool couple. Eh, boring at times. The only time that I found one of them very disingenuous was Kenny. When, you know, the day after their first night in Mexico, when they spent it together and he was with the boys, and they're like, oh, did you do the sex? And then he was like, oh, hey, I don't, I don't kiss and tell. I, did, tell I, and I did not and could not go for a run this morning. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> See? I'm just like, we saw you, you lied. And I was like, why, why would you lie about something like this? Or do you think the boys are going to laugh at you? You don't know them. You can just, you know, and then move on. See, he should have been like Mark, just taking a sip of your champagne and just kept quiet. But I don't know, he was trying to prove himself to the boys that, you know, you know, you know, I can get down with the business. It was just very annoying for me, okay? Like, I just felt like, at that point, I was like, eh. Because all before that, me, I thought he was very normal. But that one thing just made me look at him with my side eye like, so six couples, that's how I feel about all of them. So apparently there were like eight couples, but I think two of them were too boring, so they didn't include them in the overall story act. So, which was interesting because I also found out like several tidbits about like this whole show. According to the producers, they thought only one or three couples would get engaged, and they were shocked that eight couples got engaged. So right now it's like we thought we'd get one or three, but right now we have eight. To increase storyline, and I get them, you know. If you think that out of like 40 people, only two are going to get engaged, and then all of a sudden you have like 16 getting engaged, you can just see the cha ching in your in their eyes. So, anyways, I know they are scouting for season two now, and I'd be looking forward to season two. Overall, I don't know if the show answered its eternal question of is love blind. I know at the reunion they were all like, Yes, love is blind, they all agreed to it. Personally, I don't think love is blind, okay, because I can't like do this and get married to someone not for me no nada so love isn't blind but i mean hey if you believe love is blind you do you boo it's it's up to you and so i'm done with this video okay this was supposed to be like a, just a really short rant video about love is blind i didn't want to go into any like thing that would generate that controversy this was just my thoughts on the couples my thoughts on the show in general and this was like my first foray into reality tv i think i thought it was fun i really had i really enjoyed watching it okay I wa even though I watched after everybody had finished watching it, I still had fun watching it. My name is Ifa Labi. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I just want to say this. These times are very uncertain for every one of us. And sometimes it feels like you would drown. There have been moments where I feel like I'm drowning. But we have to reach out to each other, keep each other in our minds, in our hearts, reach out, talk to people as much as possible. Just because we are socially distanced, it doesn't mean we have to be emotionally distancing from each other. Ooh! The love is blind people that she uses. But anyways, 
I'm now with this video. My name is Ifa Labi. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on Love is Blind. Did you enjoy Love is Blind? Or do you thought the whole show was just trash? You thought this was like trash TV? Leave me your opinion. Like, I, want, I just want to know what people thought about Love is Blind because I've gotten like so many comments about it and I just want to know everyone's comments about it. So I'll see you on my next video, which will be soon. And thank you so much for supporting me, especially when I've added like the food bit to my channel. It's been fun for me and I'll see you on my next video. Mwah.